I think I think Lazard belongs in the seventh. That's what I'm asking. You do? Yeah. If okay. you can get Aaron Rodgers f- number one wide receiver in, in in round seven, like, yes, uh, like yes, and the, yeah, there's some stuff. What is it? Daubs um, is is the rookie uh, wide receiver up there? Yeah, uh, from uh, was it North Dakota State? Like somebody's it this the the Packers situation is very similar to the Chiefs situation somebody's going to be really good is it one of like Marquez Valdez Scantling switches teams is it going to be um Lazard is it going to be the rookie wide receivers they draft in the second round I'm not sure anybody knows but I know that Rodgers is comfortable with Lazard and said something effective it's tough going from one Hall of Fame wide receiver to another tongue-in-cheek talking about Alan Lazard who People still remember that Sunday night game from a couple of years ago against the Saints where he absolutely went off and then like destroyed his spleen or something like that and was out. Like Lazard, wait, are you worried about Sammy Watkins? Sammy Watkins. Um, Christian Watson is the receiver that went to ND State and that they drafted in the ah, second yeah, yeah. round, but he's been on the pup. He was activated from the pup today. Uh, Romeo Dubs or Dubs. I, I wanted to say it was Dubs, but you got me all confused right now. Uh, has like been has been the rookie standout for the Packers uh, they, who drafted him in the fourth round out of Nevada. So, um, but yes, uh, you know, I am biased in all of this. I went to Iowa State. I've for three seasons proclaimed Alan Lazard as a future Hall of Famer. Uh, jokingly, very we, we much bet jokingly. a million dollars on it. We it's did. on video. It is. And un, unlike the cameo that I tried to pay Alan Lazard fifty dollars oh, for so three great. years ago and he didn't do it. Yeah, I know. It's it's probably $150 today, but regardless. I think Lazard can play. I think he can play at a high level. Uh, he is not a Hall of Fame wide receiver like Aaron Rodgers joked uh, about switching from Devonte to Alan Lazard. Um, but regardless, as the number one wide receiver in the Green Bay Packers offense, he is offering tremendous value in, in the triple digit picks. Yeah, he had eight touchdowns on 60 targets and 40 catches last year. That's silly. Silly. And that's so, the thing. It's like they're going to have to pass to somebody in the red zone. They're going to give it to Rodgers, give him the ball in his hand, and let him pick who it's going to be. Devontae's not there. It's going to be a mixture of, for me, like Aaron Jones on something kind of shifty. Gip, Alan gimmicky. Lazard. Yeah, gim, yeah, Alan Lazard. Or honestly, Tunyon if they go big on big. So, yep. And if they run it, yeah, then I, it's going to be Dylan. And keep in mind, we have also joked about Devontae Adams being the best goal line running back in football. <laughs> like him, him not being there anymore and vacating 123 catches, 11 touchdowns, and 1,500 yards. It just screams Alan Lazard is going in the middle of round nine, which I think is way too low. And I, I think you should be putting him in, in that Hopkins range. Um, where, yeah, he's going to be there for all 17 games and Hopkins is only there for, for 11 of them. 